So this game is preying upon my natural fears. Where is... I don't want to get too close to it, but I think we're gonna have to go this way. Oh man, it's already going deep. No, that does not look like it. No, 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 no. Where is the last bit? I want to find it before it gets dark, preferably, because... That would be kind of, Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is games for cakes and welcome to Subnautica. Welcome back to the final time for the final time with Subnautica because this is the full release and we have played it so many times before so I didn't want to jump straight on it when it was fully released because I had other things to do as well and everybody was playing Subnautica. So and a lot of you have t messaged me and said, listen, you're gonna have to play it. The story is really amazing and you want to ex at least experience the story even though you played already a lot of it. And I said, okay, fair enough. You know what? I really want to know actually what the story is about because I want to know what happens to our dude if we can find a cure, if it all happens the way I imagined it and if we get off the planet someday, I don't know. I have no idea. It would be nice to see. I also will link the trailer that you see there advertised in the description below. I was going to play it at first as part of the episode, but then I thought maybe not everybody wants to see it. So I'm going to link it below and you can decide for yourself. It's an absolutely awesome trailer, which kind of describes what happened before, but you might not want to know anything about that until you played the game yourself. Anyway, I hope you guys are going to have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Attention. I love this part so much. That intro never gets old. And here we go. Oh, I love it. Not good. But right in the fore face. It's the worst thing can happen if you crash land, I suppose. Okay, that is not cool, that is not cool, so let's get out of here. There we go. Okay, controls. They haven't probably changed much since we played it last, but let's go. There we go, nice. I think everything is safe. Oh, it starts straight away going in there, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All terra. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. <laughs> this PDA okay. has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on Perfect, an alien Susan. world. That's Susan, Please by the way. Refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Okay. Good luck. Okay, let's have a quick look. This is what Susan just told us. Let's press tab. There we go. We already learned something. Very good. I like it. Now, what do we have in our inventory? Absolutely nothing. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, we have some food, we have some water, and we have a flare. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to take one of those. Ah! Okay, here we go again. Tab to everything. I keep clicking escape. It probably will happen for a few times. Now, we are going to mainly focus on the story. Yeah, I'm not going to rush through it, but I want to progress storyline. Yeah, so while base building and all that is nice, I, 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 I try not to get too carried away with it, especially at the early stage, because I don't want to end up grinding so much. Now, we obviously still have a lot of smoke here, so let's see what's actually happening. We need to repair that, so we need to make a repair tool. Oh, we need a repair tool for all of this. This is not good. Do we have any more that we can loot? No. Okay, so let's see what we need for a repair tool. Okay, it would be probably down here. Tools and a repair tool. We need silicon rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Okay, so the first thing we might want to do is actually get a knife. Titanium and silicon rubber. Silicon rubber is made from... Creep vine. Okay, so we need creep vine and titanium. That's our first task. Get some creep vine. Oh! Oh, man. This game is so ultra beautiful, guys. It is. It always has been. It's... The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. All right, sorry, I just had to change some sound options. I think everything is fine now. And I had to change my field of view, which was at 65 or something. So I set it up to 75. That's usually what I play in. Um, let's see. 
Okay, we definitely have to go down there. Woo! There we go. Oh, man. How beautiful is that? It's, it is overwhelmingly beautiful the first time you play it. It is absolutely fantastic. We have these little icons telling us what's what. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Nice. Do we swim faster? Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. It seems that I'm swimming faster than before. What do we have here? Oh, there's something in there. Sea Clyde fragment. We can't scan that yet, so that's something we're gonna have to do at some point. It feels like we're faster. I like it. I really like it. Oh, look at that. We have some fragments here as well. That is so cool. Let's get a fish here. There we go. And we let him go again. Why did I do that? What is the key to hide everything? Is it F? Is it F or Q? F? E. That's what it is. Okay. E is putting things away. Trying to get used to the controls again. Let's get some air. There we go. So we have some titanium. And we need to get some of those creepvine guys. So let's go over where the creepvine forest is. Which should be somewhere around here. Let me see. Toward, I think it's towards the... Where is it? Usually you can see some on top where they are. I think they're over here. I think they're just over this direction. I'm not very good with de with depths, okay? So this game is already freaking me out on a very, very personal level as I'm feeling very uncomfortable. I love swimming. I love swimming in oceans, whatever, but I can't stand it when you cannot see the ground. Uh, it, it drives me nuts. I, it just, my, my brain just makes me believe all sort of things. So this game is preying upon my natural fears. Where is... I don't want to get too close to it, but I think we're going to have to go this way. Oh, man, it's already going deep. No, that does not look like it. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to have to go back, guys. We're going to have to go back. Now, I'm going to try to... Like, a lot of you were saying to, you want longer videos. You don't want me to cut out as much. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to gauge how you guys like it. If I'm leaving some of the traveling in and getting to places because it is one of the few games where traveling from a to b is actually really nice to watch oh look at that he has things on his arms and everything now that's interesting and it seems that there's no lag or very little lag these days that is very nice they definitely optimized the game and I'm, I'm playing pretty much all up on graphics like so oh there we go there's what we need so just be careful I think John might be around. He doesn't like us. John doesn't like us. He, he constantly bites us in the ass. We're gonna have to give him fishies for him to like us. Come on, take it. Might as well take more than one. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, what is that? An egg? I'm not picking up any eggs yet either because we don't need it. An inventory space is at a premium right now. So let's... Oh, I know, I know. Study recommended. We are swimming really nicely fast. I like it. So I think we need the knife to get the crash powder. It used to call crash powder, I think. Um, it went through a few iterations of renaming um, all the items, like, and I think crash powder is what it's called now. And you need a knife for it, otherwise you won't be able to get it out, as far as I know. I could be wrong, it doesn't matter, but a knife will always help. Knife and flippers is what we want in the beginning. It's a pity you can't look at the recipes actually in here. Oh, you can actually. Let me see. What do, what do we need for flippers? Do we have flipper recipe in here? That would be pretty awesome. So I could check out what we need for them. Let me just have a quick look. There we go. Fins. Silicon rubber. Oh, excellent. So we need two silicon rubber. So it, two of those make one, I think. So that's two. And for the knife, we need... And let me see for the knife. We need one silicon rubber, and one silicon rubber needs... Oh, just one, excellent. So we can actually make four, which is really, really good. So we have enough for the knife and for some fins. So we can take the top exit or we can go underneath and come in from here. Excellent, look at that, that is awesome. Forgot to put my time on, now we have an extra long episode. <laughs> okay, look at that, nice. No, we don't want that. We don't want lubricant yet. Let's... Oh, it's also now the clusters. They changed that, I think. Before you needed the plants and the clusters. The, I think the clusters were for the lubricant and the plants were for the for the for for this. Unless you need the plants still for something else. I'm not really sure. Interesting. 
Oh, it, it is making two silicon rubber from one. That's even better. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. So is that true? Let me see. Oh, that is nice. I love it. They definitely improved that. Oh, I keep pressing escape. I'm sorry. Okay, so we want to make a knife now. Oh, yes, we have a fish. So we can cook the fish if we would want to. Or we can cure the fish if we have salt. But we don't want to do that. Look, there you go. Cured fish. Let's eat that because we are hungry. Cooked fish, consume. Nice. There we go. There's our hunger. There's our thirst. And there's our health. And we should be able to take a first aid kit. It's absolutely fine. Oh, Genie Mac. It's absolutely fine because this guy here is already at 70%. So we're going to get a new one in a minute. So let's see what we're going to be able to do. Tools. And oh, yes. Fins. Now what we need to do is we need to turn the... The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment. Okay. Using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Thank you very much, Susan. Susan's always very helpful. Okay, I think we have everything we need now to... Oh, a deployable. Oh, a waterproof locker. Yeah, we don't need this right now. What we want is a knife. There we go. And once we have a knife, we want to get into the repair Weapons tools. Were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. All right. The knife remains the only exception. Now, I don't know if we're going to need lubricant or more silicon, so let's not waste. Let's put it all in here. There we go. We have a little bit of storage. I think it's time to eat a little bit. This is 75 food, and we can wait until it's at 25, I suppose. And does it give us any liquid? No, it doesn't. But this will give us 20. So we could drink both of them, and we still wouldn't be full. That is actually quite scary. Okay, so let's take one food with us just in case, and let's go and find some crash powder because we have everything else. Oh, that looks so dark. Oh, it's already dark. Are you kidding me? Okay, he throws it away, but we can actually pick it up again, uh, which is quite handy. So we can have it in our hand while we go around. Uh, do we have the fins on? Yes, we do. So we should be even faster now. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so now crash powder is usually in one. Oh, this is so creepy looking. Man. Wow. There's some blur effect going on? Oh, I don't... Oh, there's a blur effect going on when you go... When you look a little bit into the distance. See if we can change... Do something about that blur effect. So now hopefully the... the yes. The motion... No, it's still a little bit of distant motion blur. I don't know what that is... Uh, how that is controlled. I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, so let's go and find an entrance to a tunnel, which should be around here, and that's where we find the crash powder. Oh! Oh, that's the light of the aurora. It gave me fright. Oh, here we go. Is there anything in here? No. No crash powder here. Oh, look at that. Here we can breathe. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, the dithering, I think, was the one with the distance that's fixed now. And I played around a little bit with the ambient occlusion, uh, whatever it's called. So the bloom effect is a bit lowered now as well. So let's see. Oh, man, this is so beautiful. Let me know if you want these dithering effects on or not. Basically, what the dithering is, is we need air, we need air is that the distance gets very uh, blurry. And I think that also increases performance, but we are running very smoothly on 60 frames, so I might turn it back on if I need to. We need to find an entrance into a tunnel here somewhere on the side. So we can see if we can, oh, there's some crash powder there. There we go. That's the one. Okay. He didn't get us. Where did he come from, though? Where did he come from? There, this one, straight ahead. Let's see if there's no other one. Okay, we have to hurry up. There you go. Oh, we could have actually picked it up ourselves. Oxygen. Yes, 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 yes. 
We're gonna get the oxygen. Did we take it? Because sometimes it's like a dud and it doesn't give you anything unless that was a book and they fixed it or it's intentionally, but we'll see. Let me see now. Yes, we have cave sulfur. That is awesome. And is, is one enough? Do we need only one or do I'm making all these screenshots because I'm, my recording software uh, pause is actually exactly aimed at the screenshot button. So it's it's sharing the same button, which is a bit of a pain now. So you got to see like loads of screenshots in there. So um, let me see. What do we need it for? For repair tool. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Okay. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be a little bit preemptive here and I'm gonna take um, one of those corals with me. There we go. How big are they? Are they only small ones or big ones? They're small ones. Okay, I'm gonna take two. There we go. And I'm gonna take some of this coral as well. A little bit preemptively. Because I know we're gonna need it for something now in a minute. There we go. Just two will be fine for now. And we're gonna take a mushroom or two as well. There we go, look at that. Nice, I know, I know. Thank you, Susan, for letting me know, though. There we go, we're gonna be having this re pod repaired in no time. It got dark pretty quick there, didn't it, guys? Okay, so let's get the show on the road. I like the way that it shows you what you have. So even I don't have it in my inventory, it still shows me here, I think, that I have the ingredients. So if we look at the repair tool, for example, it shows me, oh, it doesn't actually. So what about here? Does it show me here what I have? Okay, so it would be nice if it would show you what you have in your inventory in that sense as well. But um, let's get it anyway. There we go. I think that's it, isn't it? I'm not really sure. There we go, repair tool, guys. I love it. And I think now it's time to have a drink. Oh, a pipe or a floating air pump. Yeah, we don't need any of that yet. That's for fancy base building. So let's get the show on the road with the repair tool. Let's repair this first. There we go. Nice. We're repairing our Seamoth. Oh, our, oh yes, life pod. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Okay, wow, okay, tap, press view, so let's see. Now, I'm gonna go through all of this because all of this is very story important and I was told that a lot of these things, you don't get beacons sometimes, you have to figure out yourself. So let's see what this is about. Environmental scan, category three, ocean planet. Now, if it's just about the planet and stuff without any importance, then that's different. May support Leviathan class predators. Oh, I don't like them. Water contaminated with high level of foreign bacteria planet is beyond federation space rescue unlikely it is recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus wow okay so here's our survival packages the blueprints we have what do we have on the voice logs yeah so we don't need them now we're gonna have to every now and then go in here and hover over them otherwise they won't disappear <laughs> okay actually i want this on one and i want my knife on two there we go that's much better. Now, let's repair this guy here as well. Nice. We got a message, guys. Oh, yes. Radio online. Broadcasting emergency distress signal. You don't sound like Susan. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. So what is it, like two years or something, is it? <laughs> 99,999 hours. All right, so we're going to have a message you're playing every now and then that will progress us, I think, through the story, but I'm not 100% sure how, how it changed, actually, since then. So what are we supposed to do now? So if I just let the game guide me, what is it I have to do? Rescue operation will be start to dispatch. So I could just sit here and wait, but we're not going to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what we can craft next. I think the next thing we want to craft is an oxygen tank so we don't have to dive all the time up for air. So let me see here. Where do we have an oxygen tank? Equipment, 
fins, standard O2 tank. So if we get a couple of titanium, we can make two of them and that should definitely give us a lot more air. So let's take the knife out, very good. And oh, we want to make batteries at some point as well because the repair tool does take batteries as far as I know. So we already want to be kind of aware of what we need for batteries. Okay, acid mushrooms and copper ore. So it's time to do a little bit of the grind. We want to get some... Okay, we're definitely gonna eat this now. There we go, very good, I like it. And we're going to drink these now. And we're gonna get more in a second. And let's put these guys away. So if we actually look at what we can use to make drink, I'm intentionally going over these things a little. I know all this stuff already. Uh, well, unless I changed it. But I'm gonna go over it for you guys as well. If you if you happened not to see any of the four billion other videos that were posted in the last couple of weeks, so we can basically make bleach out of salt and coral top samples, which we already picked up, and the salt is uh, we can pick up as well. And then from that we can make um, disinfectant water from the bleach, which is better, which is better than filtered water. Ingredients are knowns. Uh, basically, it's a fish we have to catch first, but I rather the salt if you know what I mean So let's go on a bit of a grind. Oh, yeah, the scanner is actually what we want to do next So if we look at the scanner, that's also something we want to do so a battery and titanium So we already have a copper ore and we definitely need some titanium. So let's go and get ourselves some titanium There we go and some copper so if we look for these little stones and rocks Oh, what do we have here? Is that something we can hack and slash as well? No? Okay, okay. There's more titanium here. I don't know if it respawns at some point because that was sometimes a problem when you wanted to build really big bases. You, there wasn't enough materials around because the game was not designed, obviously, for just massive bases and survival forever, I suppose. It was kind of, you know, you getting on with the story. <laughs> Okay, there's more. We need some of those rocks, which we're gonna find actually in here. I think it's this big tunnel here, in this big, um, this thing, if we follow that. Yeah, there's some rocks on top, and there's also some rocks inside. There we go, some titanium, and now we should find a copper. There we go. I think they always alternate, so we should find a copper again now, and then we find a... There we go, there's another one. And then we find an iron, uh, a titanium again. Oh, what was it? Where is it? Did we pick it up? Oh, I don't know if we picked it up. I think it might have fallen through. I'm not really 100% sure. Oh! Oh. That means there's crash powder in here because, oh, this is the fish we want. He's given us quick water. Alien life forms okay. may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. There we go, got some more crash powder. That's where the other one came from. Oh, what is that? Quartz. Oh, nice. Yes. They don't like us. But while we're here, we might as well go on through there. <laughs> we might as well pick it all up. There we go. Oh, we got more titanium. Oh, there we go. There's another. Okay, sulfur. I don't know if we need any more sulfur for anything else. But it can't hurt. There we go. Nice. Now we're gonna have to make our way up again. Excellent, we actually can- Ah, balls! Okay, let's go down and get the last two. There we go. Let's pick up a Gary fish actually while we're here. Come on, Gary fish! There we go. Oh, what is that? It's an egg. How big is it? Oh, it's small. Excellent. We keep it. Oh, look at that. I love the purple coloring. Oh, are we already having jelly mushrooms here? I don't think so. The jelly mushroom caves are a little bit lower, I think. Okay, so I think we have enough to get back now. 
Again, I'm not cutting a lot of this out. I'm cutting actually nothing out in the moment. So you let me know in the comments uh, if the, if you want me to cut out the whole travel to and fro or not. That sounded like something went like... Oh, it's actually in here. Okay, that's fine then. Secondary system online, outgoing radio combination offline, incoming radio combination online, floating devices deployed, hull integrity okay. Uncharted ocean planet, okay, that's the name of the planet. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, waterborne bacteria levels high. So I think we have everything we need now to make a lovely... Excellent, look at that, nice. New blueprint acquired. Okay, so what blueprint did we acquire? An air bladder. Look at that. Nice. A high capacity one now. So we can actually use one of those and craft a next higher up one. Okay, so let's make... A, ooh, look at that filtered water. That's what we get from the bladder fish, by the way. We haven't picked up any salt, so the bladder fish will have to do for now. So let's go in here and make some... Oh, no. Ah, oh, I cooked it. I wanted to make some water from it. <laughs> oh, shenanigans. It doesn't matter. It's okay. It is common for those accustomed yeah. to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so now what do we need? We need to make a battery as well. So, And we need to make some more titanium because we need a second oxygen tank. There we go. Let's, let's salvage all the titanium. And that's it. We can actually make glass from the quartz. Oh, can we make the advanced already? We can make glass. We have a standard O2 tank. Oh, we don't have any silver ore. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's shenanigans. So we're going to make one of those. Look at that. Lovely. So the first one is going to go in our inventory. The second one is going to stay here, but it is actually used. Like, so it does add. So, oh, so if we put that into here... You probably see it decrease, is it? Oh no, we have to equip it. Oh, that's interesting, that's new because before it was enough to have it in here. Okay, does that go into any other slot? So we can't have two shenanigans because before you could actually just fill up on those and that was it. Okay, so let's see what else we need. We want to make a scanner, a scanner, scanner, scanner. We need a battery for that. So luckily I have some mushrooms here. So let's see how that goes. Battery. And then after that, we can make the scanner. Oh. Oh, we got a power cell blueprint now. There we go, power cell. Okay, so that's excellent. So until we have silver ore, we're stuck with one... Um, so, <laughs> it's a, I don't know if you can destroy item yet, because the problem is that if you craft something like that, for example, you don't want it anymore, you have to leave it in an inventory. And this guy is getting old, so we better eat it, actually. And we better take this one as well. There we go, nice. We better find some salt quickly, guys. <laughs> so we can make some proper drink. What else do we have here? We unlock covered the power cell, very good. And that is it. Excellent. Okay, so let's go. So let's scan some things. We can scan ourselves actually first, which is important. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Excellent. And scan ourselves again. Okay, we are fine. There's a message for us, but I want to do a little bit of a scan first. So we can scan these guys, which is pretty awesome. So we can scan all the fish. There we go. Indigenous life form boomerang. Oh, and we want we want one of There we go. Let's scan you. Dude, come on. Excellent. Platter fish. We already have the boomerang. And oh yes, the peeper. Come on, peeper. There you go. Now we can scan he we can scan the mushrooms as well. Acid mushrooms. And we can scan these guys as well. 
data bank entry unlocked indigenous life forms so now we have a couple of more entries in the herbivore small the bladder fish the boomerang the peeper so we can read all about them and um which i'm not <laughs> and then we have the flora and fauna acid mushrooms trip of a lifetime don't miss it <laughs> one in a lifetime experience and then we have another voice log for the self scan, which is fine, hunky dory. And then we have two more items here. So we have the peeper and we have the cooked peeper. Very good. And what else is there? There's another thing here, which is new. And I don't know what it is. No, it's gone now. And then we have these guys here. Okay, very good. I, this is not new anymore. You don't need to show me that. I already know what a first aid kit looks like. Now let's go here. We want to scan these guys for uh, fragments. Oh, yes. One of two, and there was another one around, actually quite close to our base. So there was one, and there was another one over here somewhere, I think. Oh, where was it? We saw two of them right away. Oh, look at that, we can, we can uh, scan some palm trees. Nice. And we can, yeah, the the writhing, the writhing weed. If you ever wanted to know what that is about. There was another box actually nearby. I don't know why I can't see it now. Early on I saw both of them. And we can scan the rock now. There we go. What else? Oh, coral shell plate. Interesting. I thought we already scanned it. And now it basically stops hovering above because we already scanned it. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna need another two mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Coral shell plate. There we go. Where is the last bit? I want to find it before it gets dark, preferably, because that would be kind of... Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Awesome. I love it. Now, the seek light is the next thing we have to worry about. Okay. This is pretty neat. I love it. Oh, look at that. Come on, Ray Ray. There we go. Can I pick you up? No. <laughs> A rabbit Ray. Okay, excellent. So, now we're gonna listen to the message in a second, but first we're gonna need to figure out what we actually need to make a um, drink. There we go, filtered water, which is important because we want to drink it pretty much straight away. Um, then we have a little bit more food. We can cook a peeper. I know there's a message. I can hear you, game. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, do we need any of those? I don't know, we'll see. We definitely want to drink more, so there we go, filtered water, excellent. We're gonna need to find some salt. So like I said, bleach is something we definitely want to do. Now, let's see what we can do for we need a copper wire. Oh, it takes two ore. I don't know if we have enough ore then to actually make... Um... Oh, we do. Nice. The battery. And now the seek light a lubricant. Yes. We can take one of those guys. Excellent stuff. Look at that. I think we're going to be able to make a seek light, guys. Awesome. Is essential in construction of vehicles Makes and sense. power plants. Let's do it. Do we have enough space? I think we do. The Sea Glide nice. will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. That is pretty important. Yes, yes, yes. That is awesome. Okay, so now let's see what the next message is about. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. <laughs> three out. Very nice voice acting. Signal I love it. Location uploaded to PDA. So now the pod 3 is our next target. And I think we accomplished a lot in the first episode. 
a lot. So we actually progressed the story a little bit. We got ready. We have our seek light now, which is something we need, obviously, to get to the other pods, which is over there, only 464 meters away. That is really nice. Anyway, it's probably dark outside in the moment. Yeah, very creepy. But we have a light on the seek on the seek light anyway. So let's put a lot of things away. And we're gonna leave this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys are gonna hang around for me to finish the story because usually the story driven stuff doesn't do too well after a while and then we usually don't end up finishing it but i really hope that both of us are going to stick around for it because it would be absolutely awesome anyway i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope to see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel the of the auroras drive cool may result in a quantum detonation continuing to monitor so i'm trying to turn my outro and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. Why do we have another message already? This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system and this grim looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so that was happening pretty quickly. So we have Life Pod 17 and Life Pod 3. I mean, Life Pod 3 is what was reported to us first, so I think we should. Uh, I know they're under attack, but this was first. So we really should be going here. Uh, should be going here first.